let us uh, see how uh, we are getting these uh, different registers. Basically, a register is nothing but a group of uh, flip-flops and each flip-flop can store one bit of information. Okay. And uh, sliding of flip-flops is what you get as a register. So a group of flip-flops is known as a register. And if you cascade uh, four flip-flops, it becomes a four-bit register. If you do eight uh, flip-flops, it becomes an eight-bit register. So based on, basically these uh, registers are used for shifting of the information. And based on this, we have four different types of uh, registers. They are referred to as serial in, serial out, serial in parallel out, parallel in serial out, and parallel in parallel out. So let us see each of them separately here. So what is this serial in serial out? Basically, this diagram here which shows uh, four flip four flip laws being cascaded, so it becomes a four bit register. If an entry of four bit binary number is represented as say R one one one, and if this is entered into the register, the number should be applied to the D input with LSB applied first. Then the D input of F F three that is D three is connected to serial input data. The output Q3 is connected to the input of D2. The output Q2 of this is connected to the input of D1. The output Q1 is connected to Q0 in a serial fashion. So the operation is, it is constructed showing the connection with respect to D flip flop. We apply even for JK flip flops. D flip flop is a special case of JK where the inputs are combined by means of an inverter. So the operation is like this. You are applying a clock to the first flip-flop and this is simultaneously applied in a synchronous mode. The input is applied here. Initially, let us imagine that they are all reset to zero. And LSB is entered here. Once you apply, this is one, the rest are all zeros as is shown here. Now I apply the next bit and the next bit is applied, the next bit comes here. And this one will be moved here, so it comes here. Then when the next bit comes, that will come to here. This will go here. This will go here. Fourth time, all four will receive a bit of information, which is one. So like this, when all four flip-flops receive the clock simultaneously, the information is available here. The same information can also be carried out using a truth table here. This is a negative edge triggered clock. So it is entering here. See, there are different ways of representing these Qs. So in some books they write this as Q1, Q0, Q1, Q2, Q3. And in some books they write this as Q3, Q2, Q1 and Q0. Whichever way you represent, that flip-flop which receives the clock first is referred to as LSB and the one which receives clock towards the end is called the MSB. Most significant bit. So when you see the diagrams, clock diagrams, four clock pulses are drawn here. D0 is coming here. So during that period, all the other flip flops are moving. So first D bit, this is input. That input is transferred to Q0. During that time, all of them are zeros. Then one more one will come here. By then, this will also receive one. So it is one one zero zero. One more one will come here. This one will go here. So it is triple one zero. Then fourth one, this will go like this. If one, see as it is, it's only one bit at a time you are doing. You are not making all the input information going in a streamed fashion. One bit at a time. That one bit will flow from Q3 to Q2, Q1, Q0. And by then, other information also is coming. So it's 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1 at the end of fourth cycle. And this is how you can see the circuit operation. So, always high, one goes like this. Finally, the output is one at the end of four clock. So, you can count and see. So, this is how you will be discussing about.